Hello and welcome to a new series of City Bus Manager. Uh, this time, from a slightly more urban environment, you can see I've gone for the city garage. Um, so, first of all, Southern Vectors isn't going anywhere. Southern Vectors is still very much a thing. But this time, we're in Glasgow. And uh, there's a lot here. There is a lot to cover. Our depot is down here, by the rail um, depot in Palmadi. Expect many mispronunciations, you know what Scotland's like. Um, now, unlike with the Isle of Wight, where I sort of have an elementary understanding of the island, I have zero understanding of Glasgow. Like, I thought this was Buchanan bus station. No, the bus station's up here, at Buchanan. So, yeah. Also, I've set us off with no starter capital. All of this money is a loan, which is kind of like how Transport Fever works, and I like that in the sense. Or in a sense. I can word. I've also minimised the mod list so that we can start out around the turn of the millennium. Again, the timeline's very loose, so chances are I'll be switching all the mods back on very, very soon. Or I'll switch them all back on for Southern Vectis and uh, forget to switch them off again. That's probably how that's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to start around the turn of the millennium, which means darts and all sorts of beautiful things like that. So this is just the default starter size for a map in City Bus Manager. I've not gone any smaller, like I did with Southern Vectis, um, and I've not gone any bigger. The problem with City Bus Manager is that you always start with minibuses, which sort of... yeah, it's not great. But we can work with this, we can do some local stuff. Although I think our dead mileage will be quite high to start with. So we just have to have to look around. Cause up here around Bishop Briggs and down this way, there are a few sort of interesting looking estates that you could weave a minibus through. And there's this sort of retail park down here. And then of course there's this massive hospital. Stub, stu, st stub hill, or is this like Irish and it's gonna be like Stubville? I don't know. So what I may do is, I will start with a shuttle service between Springburn and Stubville Hospital. Uh, that seem it seems reasonable to do that. It does mean, again, our dead mileage is going to be very high, because Springburn is up here, and our garage is down here. So, that's going to be fun. I don't have the hex code for the orange that we're going to be using in Glasgow. But it is sort of... Oh, we've got an orange already. Uh, let's just make this like a... Like a very orange... Like that. Maybe. Yeah, like that. Okay, so this is gonna be... The, uh... I almost wanna call it, like, the S1. Like, Springburn 1. Yeah, let's do Springburn 1. Um, and maybe rather than just doing the hospital, if we go around here as well. So let's see. Bar Malak. Yeah, okay. Um, spring burn. Oh, S1. Spring burn to Garmalak. Can't. Uh, we could turn back around this way. Yeah, so let's start there at Angus Street. Stop. 
there, there, there. So we're going to go up this way or this way, probably this way to the hospital. Then down and around. And as this is going to be the first episode in the series, um, it's going to be an hour. An hour long, so strap in. There's not going to be many in the way of time lap. Not going to be much in the way of time lapsing. Nice to see that these have good names. Okay, so we're going down this way. Down this way. Oh, those are very close together. I don't like that. Move that stop there. And then we're going to go this way around this estate here. Oh, interesting. It looks like buses go this way. Well, that's fun. Well, that's... The problem with these all already having, like, good specific names is... If you place something in a... If you place a stop down, you are definitely going to have to rename the stop. So this is Barmalach. Oh, I've, I've spelled that wrong. It's with a B. Arai Hill Road Adjacent Rock Field Place Palse Oh, well done me. Not Rye Field Road, Rye Hill Road. Oh, I'm very, very good at this. Rye Hill Road. Go to Rye Mount Road, Rye Bank Road, Wallace Well Place, Scottsburn Road, and then back off the estate. Yeah, those stops are the wrong way round. Um, this one should be stopping there. And um, da -da 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 -da. that stop should actually be that one. There we go. And now back towards the hospital. Uh, oh, is that a one-way? That must be a one-way. No, it's not. Uh, use that waypoint. Uh, ooh, hang on. There we go. We can make it at least go around. Oh, so it's treating this roundabout like a sort of standard intersection. I see. Spittle, and then these waypoints again. And down we go. So we'll terminate there. And then... Or maybe we terminate... Like there, and then have like a stop there? That seems alright to me. That is quite the route. It takes 35 minutes. So I think we'll run this. So this loading's up to 70. So maybe if we have it every 15 minutes at peak time. Uh, let's go to All Saints RC. And we'll just rename that one to Bar Malach. Or Bar Malach All Saints School. 
That sounds alright, actually. So... Uh, we will have two minutes at the hospital. And... Probably one minute at this stop because there are some shops here. And that's 20 minutes. One minute to stand and we will have this start from... Let's have it start at 5 and we'll have it run until 10. Uh, six days a week like this. Monday to Saturday. Outbound. And this is going to be the inverse. Monday to Saturday. Inbound. So 21. So let's start this at 5.22. And run it until 22.22. Every 30 minutes. And with 15 minutes frequency at peak time. There are shops there. And the hospital 2 minutes. That 5.22 gets back at 5.43 in time to do the 6 o'clock. But it would get back in time to do the... Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, Sunday. Sundays. They're going to start an hour later and finish an hour earlier. And they're gonna, just going to run every half hour. And maybe with, because of that, a longer break at uh, Balmalek. So go to five minutes. Uh, no, let's go to 10, why not? Make this timetable just really, really easy to follow. Sunday, inbound. Like, I don't see Sundays as sort of being super imperative to run sort of less of a service. Because, you know, some people sort of like, oh, Sunday, you run less service on a Sunday because, you know, you don't want so many people in work. Because, you know, Sunday, day of rest. So, like, I think of it more as just keep things simple on a Sunday. Keep things very easy to follow. There we go. So this, I think, timetable preview. Let's look at peak time. What's, what is our vehicle requirement at peak time? So we've got, this, let's take the 6 o'clock. 6.22 gets back at 6.43. In time to do the 6.45. Cool. So, that's going to be assigned to depot, and we will activate it later, because we have no buses. As for the depot itself, we've got this sort of very simple little service centre, little corridor down the middle, serving as a little cloakroom, office, kitchen, bathroom. Very, very simple. This is probably a bit overkill for, for now, but hey-ho. Let's procure five Marshall minibuses. And I have got a livery for these. So let's import repaint template and go to do -do 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 West Scotland, Glasgow. Is it this one? It appears to be. Look at that. Isn't this just adorable? With the grey skirt. I think it looks really sweet. Right. Depot parking space. You. Depot parking space. You. And depot parking space. You. And depot parking space. Uh, you. And depot parking space. You. There we go. So we're doing this around the turn of the millennium, so I'm going to have these probably be W reg. Um, post me, cut this out while I look up what the old format of license plate sort of means. Uh, no, I'm actually going to have these be S reg. And uh, what do the letters at the end mean? 
Oh, this is complicated. Okay, okay, I understand it. I understand it now. Um, so this is going to be S181 uh, A. Let's go with G A L R. I don't know. S181 G A R. And this fleet number is going to be uh, Marshall Short 1. Uh, white fleet numbers. And of course, we're going to have GW Glasgow. Isn't that lovely? And then this is going to be S182 GAR. I know that they work like that. Uh, Marshall Short 2. GW Glasgow. S183 GAR GW Glasgow Oh no, that's uh, Marshall Short 3 and uh, GW Glasgow S184 uh, GAR Ooh, one space. Marshall Short 4. GW. Glasgow. And finally. S185 GAR. Marshall Short 5. GW. Glasgow. And there we go. Isn't that just perfect? Look at these little things. So immediately what I'm going to do is I'm going to start researching a bigger bus. And I'm going to launch the S1. 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 And then actually we're going to rename this stop to just Springburn. And this stop... Whoa, what does that say? Yeah, expected that. So, oh, we need a petrol station for our buses. I forgot that. Uh, there's a gap here because there seems to be a bit of a glitch. I, I've seen it before. It just, it doesn't like building certain things in certain places, so. Let's have a look at ticket prices. Let's put those to £1.50. Those to £2.50. That to maybe 6 And the weekly to 25 That seems reasonable. They're not doing too bad for a first day. And the route is absolutely islanded. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. It just remains to be seen. Oh, have we got a... We have a Sotaro. Now, they were making Sotaros this far back. But I was hoping for the Renown. I was hoping to get the Renown, because I've, I've already made a livery for the Renown. Oh well. Hmm. Let's see, I am 26 minutes in and we've already got our route set up. And we're making trophies ever so slowly. They are just these things are just going and going and going. There is not much stand time on a weekday. Probably not the best. But, you know, we are minimizing the vehicle requirement on this route by doing that. I am so tempted to do just something big. But we don't, you know, we've got the Sitaro, sure. And I don't have the livery for the Sitaro. 
because I was an idiot and didn't save the vector file for the Landor scheme. Oh no, I think I did. I did. Never mind. Um, it probably won't take me long to do a Landor scheme for the Satara then, because I'll just change the colors over. Um, or well, the Landor scheme for um, Glasgow. But like, if I could do a little estate route closer to the the actual garage, minimize uh, dead running, that would be really good. Wait, like, what is up here? This is Queen's Park. Okay. Because I could almost imagine a route from Queen's Park area down to Rutherglen, and that could be ex expanded into some kind of peripheral route. Or something that goes out this way, down in the future, towards Hazelwood. And this... Oh yeah, this is the um, the depot for the subway. Let's govern. There is a, there's a lot in Glasgow. And, you know, Glasgow's quite well covered by the street map data. I'm actually very impressed. But there are some sort of notable blanks. Right. Bus fleet, no one's broken. Very nice. Time jump. And we have S1, S1, and S1. Two vehicles spare. Very, very nice. So, I mean, with this glitch here, it is possible to build a hall over the glitch because there's another glitch around here and I was able to build this hall and you know my maintenance facilities which actually I should probably buy some replacement parts um, that's a very good idea me well done let's buy some lights indicated wipers just you know stuck up on all the things that will run out and a few sets of tires. There we go. And those will come in later. So we have two capitals sitting around. We could bolster the fleet even further. Perhaps do another route out of Springburn. Uh, like, we could go out of Springburn this way and up into this weird chain of cul-de-sac-style estates that it, they seem really interesting. Like, this is a very American style of building that I just wouldn't expect to see over here. Hmm. I mean, I could do another, like, the S2 could follow the S1 out of Springburn into the hospital and then out this way to this area. Or it could do the S1 out to the hospital and up to Bishop Briggs. Another option of course is a central Glasgow shuttle service between Glasgow Central, Glasgow Queen Street and Buchanan. But I mean there's, there's a lot here. There is a lot here. I, I think a shuttle service between Central, Queen Street, and Buchanan would be very, very, very busy. But it's something I would be interested in. Uh, it's something that exists in real life, actually. Uh, I remember seeing pictures of a Scotrail-branded bus doing at least between uh, Central and Queen Street. Although, can we just talk about the absolute missed opportunity that is the gap between Central and Queen Street. Like, you could have it, like, come off here, go into Queen Street. Like, that would be perfect. You could, like, you know, Glasgow Crossrail. Because you Glasgow already has East-West sorted in terms of its rail. So North-South, sort of, like, opposite of London. <laughs> There's also all this up this way. What's this area? That is Maryhill. Ah! Oh. Maybe we could do the M1. Just going around 
this way, Mary Hill and Summerston. And then that would link up to, because this looks like a really major road. It goes up here, and for now it could turn back at uh, whatever this is. I'm going to buy, I think, three more marshals. Parking space. Parking space. Parking space. There we go. The the fleet has grown. And so we're starting with S185. So we got S186 GAR. Yeah, let's do the license plates all first. S186 GAR. S187 GAR. And S188 GAR. Then MS6 with white fleet numbers, please. MS7 with white fleet numbers, please. And MS8 again with a white fleet number, please. Get the destinations done. We have uh, GW Glasgow. Uh, GW, oh, GW Glasgow. And GW. No, 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 no. Uppercase, please. Uppercase. There we go. Look at these things. I think they look really, really nice. When I was growing up in East London, um, the 308 was one of my local routes, and it had dart-based Marshall Capitals that looked just like this, but a bit longer. And there's one in preservation, actually. Um, I can't remember the reg, but the fleet number of, um, is DML41424. And it's a, it's a gorgeous bus. The thing goes like stink and it sounds great. However, I am aware that the mod of the Marshall minibus is actually the integral Marshall minibus that was a complete commercial flop. But we can just pretend that they're darts. We can just pretend that they're darts because, you know, there were mini darts with Marshall bodies on it after all. This also looks like a really big road. Like, Great Western Road. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's going to be a big one. And then of course the main road to Paisley is a dual carriageway. And let's put 181 on it. Want to see? I want to see what the destinations look like. I want to see if they've updated with the new stops. How is the S1 doing? No, that's not what I wanted. The S1 is doing pretty well, considering it's off-peak. It's almost peak time, so this route's going to get even busier. Oh, I've missed that one going out. There it is. We have another one. Let's put 188 on it, the new one. Or one of the new ones. And we have another one. So maybe I'll do my um, Glasgow Central Shuttle idea. Uh, we can go from St. Enoch Place. Down around the bottom. Serve the low level. Serve the high level. Up to... Queen Street, then around, uh, probably into here, seeing as we're not a sort of regional bus, which is what normally uses, or what tends to go into um, Buchanan. 
Uh, no, we do not have a bus big enough for 101 people. Bus routes. So this is gonna be... The... C1, I think. City 1. Yeah, I like C1. City 1. Um, Glasgow Central to Buchanan. And color, not really gonna matter. Where's the Enoch place? There we go. Jamaica Street, Howard Street, that's not it. <laughs> Street, Clyde Street, Oswald Street, Argyle Street, Oswald Street, Radisson, Argyle, Hope, that's one way. Waterloo, Gordon Street, Central Station, that's also one way. Hope Street, West George Street, Renfield Street, West George Street. West George Street, Queen Street, nope. George Square, North Hanover, up there, up there. Oh, that's Port Dundas Place, we don't want that one. I mean, we could just go, like, around. Oh, that's one way. Well, seeing as that's one way, we can do that. Then come down, come down, down. Let's turn the stops off. Whoa, that, that did not like that. Uh, West George Street is one way. So I'm guessing... Like, where's the the road down? Oh, it's this way. So we have to go down this way, then down to John Street, George Square, St. Vincent Place, Renfield Drury, Union Street Central Station, Jamaica Street, Howard Street, and then into St. Enoch Place, which is... That's, that's just going to be called St. Enoch Place. And then this end is going to be called... I think we're going to have the terminus up here. The terminus, Calcadens Road, North Hanover. Edit. And that is going to be... Uh, uh, Buchanan Bus Station. There we go. Again, that's going to take half an hour, apparently. Wow. And there we go. There's the insane loadings. If I make this every ten minutes, then... Yeah, let's have this every 10 minutes. Out to Buchanan. Apparently it takes 20 minutes. So we will have a hold at Gordon Street Central, a hold at there, and then we'll pause for five minutes going back on the half hour. So this, again, will start at 5 a.m. and it will run until 11 p.m. Uh, again, six days a week in this mode. Monday to Saturday out uh, northbound. New tie table. Monday to Saturday southbound. And this is going to start at 5.30 and run until 23.30 every 10 minutes. And it's going to have, we're going to have a hold at North Hanover Queen Street, at Union Street Central, and at George Square Tourist Centre. Timetable preview, please. 5.47 at St. Enoch, so we get back in time for the 5.50 to do the 6.20, to do the 6.40. We may need an additional bus, but that should be fine. Sunday, North Found. And on a Sunday, it's going to run every 15 minutes with a um, operating from 5 till 10. So same start, earlier finish, and slightly lower frequency. Sunday southbound from, again, 5.30 until 22.30 every 15 minutes. Timetable preview on a Sunday... 5.47 at St. Enoch to do the... Oh dear. If it was every 12, would that be more efficient? 5.47 to do the... Ooh, no, I don't like that. I guess we're just going to have to deal with a long turnaround. Um, what's the turnaround like on a weekday? 5.47 at St. Enoch to do the 5.50. Let's give it a one minute break. That should work. Uh, we should activate... Activate now. Why not? 
Right, we've got a C1, another C1. Oh! Oh, oh no, wait, there are still two, there are two buses missing, it's fine. And um, we don't have enough drivers. Right. There we go. And indeed, we don't have enough buses. But we can afford one more. And this is going to be... S189GAR. MS9. With a white fleet number, please. G, uh, no, not FW, GW Glasgow. Very quick setup. Just mass hiring drivers now. The S1 is not profitable. Oh dear. That's not great. Uh, but the C1 should be. The C1 absolutely should be profitable because, I mean, look at it. Yeah, the, the, the C1 is going to be very, like, stunningly profitable. It, I mean, it, it's just obvious, you know, when, you, when you're in Glasgow Central, run the shuttle. Look at our lovely little orange buses, aren't they cute? That was a time check, if you can hear my keyboard, which I know you can, because uh, I edit these things. Uh, and that's the final uh, S1 of the day. There we go. Let's see what the dead route actually looks like. Okay, it's down this way. It's very long, but it's not, like... It doesn't look like it's a hard dead run. Especially in a small bus like that. Uh, let's look at routes. Yeah, I think the only reason the C1 isn't profitable is because that was, like, an evening run. And it looks like there's some weird stuff going on with the tours. So what I'm going to do very, very quickly is get rid of the weight. Get rid of this break. There we go. Now, and uh, no broken buses yet. Very, very nice. I, th I, d I do think this model is actually really good. It's like this sort of... I don't know what you would call that, but like the finning, the fins, almost. It's a good looking bus, what can I say? You got S1, C1, 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 S1, C1, 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 C1. Yeah, we're, we're short by one, which is difficult. Ah. Uh, I may, having forced myself into a little bit of a corner, have to just quickly add a small parking space here to get. First of all, let's just hire another driver, or two, or three, to, you know, uh, actually, let's buy another two buses, because... Or another three. Let's buy another three. So this parking arrangement will be changing. It is a bit of an, a pain with the city map. Or the city garage. Because you've got... Like, on the village garage, you've got space here for parking spaces. I suppose you could put, like, storage facilities there and have more of the interior free. Uh, on a city garage? I don't know. Uh, this is going to be S190 GAR. With a white fleet number reading MS10. And a Glasgow blind set. S191. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we did get it to S189. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll doubt myself for a second. White fleet number. Ah, uh, MS11. Glasgow. And S192 GAR. Uh, MS. 12 in white GW Glasgow 
That says C1 to Buchanan. That says S1 to Old Barnack Broomfield Road. Okay. C1. C1 to St. Enoch. C1 to St. Enoch. So, what I need to do, clearly, is edit the terminus points of the S1. There we go. The fleet is already sizable. It's it's definitely a monoculture, but you know, let's get another solo bus. Better food and ratings details. Then I'm going to look at our staffing hours. Researchers should be here from nine to five. Mechanics should be here from 4 till midnight. Maybe 6 till midnight. Recent, yep, yeah, and uh, cleaners from 10 till 10. 10 till midnight, maybe. That, that, that is 14 hours. Yeah, that is 14 hours. Uh, there we go. 10 till 6. Or no, have them present later. Yeah. Bus fleet. Uh, da, 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 work schedule. Cleaners. 2 till 8. There we go. Yeah, it's busy. Oh, it's very busy. Oh, this. All of this is. Okay, if the C1 isn't profitable. If the C1 manages to not be profitable. Why does it sit at Buchanan for so long? Oh no. No, it does. It sits there for like half an hour. Um, bus, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, C1. We're troubleshooting a route that we just put in. This is great. Edit timetable. Break after two or three minutes. That will affect tomorrow more than today. 80 tours done. Very nice. It's nearly the end of rush hour now. And our researchers should be coming in any moment now. Let's have a look at the S1. It's not all that busy. Mm, we have an S1. And another S1. And a C1. Yeah, this is this is busy. This is very busy. This is this is very busy. I feel like we're going to be profitable today. It feels likely. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Uh, let's hire some more service employees. And we're gonna run this from 10 till 4. Lunch break 12.30 till 1.30. Got a C1. You've got another C1. And another C1. You need clean. And another C1. And another C1. And another C1. You're a C1. Obviously, I think everyone here is going out on C1s. Stinky bus. 
are you going out on? I see one. <laughs> and you? I see ones. There are a lot of C1s. And yeah, the C1 is now profitable. Uh, as for the S1, uh, less so. Honestly, probably because it's such an indirect route. Like, if it was just Springburn to the hospital, or... Um, Barmalach to the hospital, which I need to re- I need to re- Do that. That's an H. And that is a B. Ah, oh, speak of the C1. I mean, the future of the S1 very much depends on- Oh, never mind, the, the S1 can stay. <laughs> I was gonna say, the future of the S1 depends on whether or not it turns a profit anytime soon. Because, uh... It's... yeah. It's not very busy. But it is profitable. We, you know, bring this up. It's not as profitable as the C1, but it is making money. Oh, let's see. S1 Springburn and S1 to Barmark All Saints. Cool. And away they go, doing their own little thing. Oh, interesting. They take different dead runs. I mean, they are going to different ends of the route first. But that was a different dead run. Like, this one did a different dead run. Um, to the dead run it takes on the way home. So I wonder if it's sort of a randomized dead run. Does it simulate drivers taking different routes because of traffic? What's up this? Why, do, why is this so geometric? That's fun. That's really fun. Just the look of this city from above on a map is really cool. Because there's like, all the estates on it are quite clearly defined. Like there's one there, there's one there, there's like three estates that are clearly linked. And, you know, like, there's that Notre Dame school thing. What is that? Notre Dame Secondary School. Ooh, hello. Okay, which ones of you are not absolutely stinky? You. 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 Stinky. Stinky. Very stinky. And stinky. And you need refuel. Ooh, stinky. Oh no, you're stinky. Right. Oh! Oh dear. Why was there nothing on the C1? Oh, now all of these buses are running late. Oh dear. Oh dear. And what? Why are they doing that? Th th this makes no sense. What has the game done? Okay, so this one... When it gets down to... Since you're not place. It should wait and go back out. This one should wait and go back out. Right, and then when this one goes to... Why is it waiting for 28 minutes? It should only be waiting for about three. It's got plenty of stand time on the route. Maybe I should get rid of the stand time on the route and... Like, have it be, like, only doing stand at the end. I'll try that. C1. Edit timetable. Let's get rid of the stand there. And the stand there. Copy. And paste. Let's get rid of the stand time. I think this has three minutes of stand time along it, so I'm just going to get rid of one of them. Because the southbound run is shorter, and I do want to pad it out, so I'm going to get rid of the tourist center stand. Copy and paste. Timetable preview, just so that I can get our rest points in. Buchanan gets 
five minutes on the northbound. Or th yeah, three is fine. Timetable preview Sundays. Yeah, that's standing at uh, 46, waiting until six on the Sunday, so that can wait and that can wait for ten minutes. Uh, timetable preview Monday. So yes, so we'll wait for five minutes and southbound 46 that will have no stand. Cool. Uh, terminus, 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 and terminus. Hopefully that should make the C1 a little bit more dependable. Um, I'm going to do one more day and then we'll finish this off. I think we've had a pretty good start, all things considered. This is the first time I'm working in a properly big city uh, in this game. I've done sort of urban areas before. Um, I'm doing Ipswich and Colchester right now on a personal save. I've done Medway a couple times, I think. So, you know, this is the first proper city that I'm working in. And it's, it's certainly got its challenges. That's, that's for sure. We were almost profitable yesterday. Even though I massively cocked up the C1. I don't know if I made those timetable adjustments in time for it to affect t uh, today's time. Uh, yeah, for it to affect today. But let's see. Let's see what it does. No, it's still waiting for about 28 minutes. Ah, uh, Buchanan. Okay, okay. I mean, that's that 28 minute stand that the game insists on having for some reason did kind of save me yesterday because of the massive mess up. But I, I would rather, like, his buses could get back on time after just one tour by pulling, like, by getting to the Buchanan end. So I would. But, like, I would rather not have that. Mm, these buses are also very, very busy. Uh, what is my second solo bus? An Eclipse 2. Okay, now that, that definitely can't be used because that's way late. And I do want to pay a little bit of attention to the, uh, the thing. I need 56 trophies for the next solo bus. Maybe I should have turned off a few more mods. What is this? Is this like a a depot of some sort? I do love the look of these marshals. They are they are actually gorgeous. Actually, let's go back to this view. Uh, post me thumbnail here. Um. Okay. Reduce bus dirt. Unlock bus stop upgrades. Because we have a big problem with buses just getting really dirty. S1 is doing alright. Uh, C1 is struggling. But it's coming to the end of peak time, so it shouldn't be so bad for much longer. Another S1. Stinky bus. There's no bus available because that uh, minibus needs to be cleaned. So I think the C1 will be going to larger buses ASAP. Which is kind of a shame because I like the idea of the city center bus being small. But yeah, no, we need the capacity. We need the capacity. We can move these out elsewhere. There's no bus available yet. I mean, maybe we could put the Sitaro on it? Like, we could get some Sitaros in? We don't really have the money, but... We are definitely very short on vehicles. We have enough to run the service, but the... Oh, it's hectic. And the C1 is certainly 
not super reliable. But, but you know, that 28 minute standard uh, Buchanan that I hate so much because it reduces or it increases the vehicle requirement by two, maybe three, is uh, is actually really helpful with getting the route sort of back on time. Uh, yeah, these are just these are really busy. So, yeah. Oh, uh, the the S one. I mean, the S one is doing fabulously. I think the S one was quite a. The S one seems, you know, it's a little local run. It's doing reasonably well. It's just sort of, the S1 makes a lot of sense. The C1 really needs bigger buses though. I wonder if there's something to be said for routing the S2 through here. Let's put you on an S1. And you on an S1. Ah, now the S1's up to three buses. It is ready for peak time, which has now officially started. And there's a C1 that needs a signing. Two C1s. Great. Oh, there are more people waiting at that bus stop than can fit on a bus. Why is that taking such a weird route for us? Oh, it's going up to... So what is going to happen? With the S1. Not the S1, the C1. How is the C1 gonna go? Come on. Ah, there's one coming back. There's another coming back. And another. C1. 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 Right, uh, just play it on one time speed. There we go. And there's a 1900 that needs a signing. And there is a bus that's come in at 1900. Oh, stinky. Stinky. These aren't super clean. They aren't stinky, so if they have the opportunity to be cleaned, they can be. C1. Yeah. We're profitable today. Yes. So, I think, upon that revelation, I think that's a good time to end that here. Uh, welcome to Glasgow, everyone. And I will see you in the next few days. This City Bus Manager with this series is now going to go to two episodes a week. Um, I will see you soon, probably from the Isle of Wight again. Bye-bye.